Hello, bass player friends. So, I'm dealing with an issue, and I'm going to hear the the ocean. So I need to replace tubes, and this video is going to be a how to do it. So I'm going to pause this and pull the DB out of the rack and show you how to do it. Okay. So, I have the top plate off. As you can see, there are three 12 AX7s in here. Beautiful. So, I'm going to set the phone down because I need two hands to do this. Um, I like to handle tubes uh, with gloves on. Um, I use just black nitrile. So, um, with the old tubes, you can save them, recycle them, store them. But there's a little. Um, there's like a little safety holder clip here, and uh, let's show you. You see it right there. You've got to pull on that as you pull the tube out. I'm just gonna wiggle it. There you go. Now you'll, you'll see on your tubes uh, a space here that makes this sort of a horseshoe shape. And you'll just have to match that up with this in here. So that. Okay, so I'm going to pull these others out. So I have um, Electro Harmonics, uh, just their inexpensive 12AX7s. So I'm going to line up, line up the horseshoe here. And as I push it in, I'm going to just, first I'm going to put the, the tip here in the plastic, or in that uh, clip holder, and then bend it back into place. Maybe not. Okay, and then I just... squeeze it into place. I have to be real careful and give some counter pressure here so I don't want to snap any circuit boards off because that would suck. Okay. Lining that up. No, you can't see very well, sorry. It on my tripod. Okay. Last one.
see. Try to do this. So you can see. Just wiggle. All right. So now they're all in. So I'm gonna replace the back plate or the top plate. I wanna say something about the top plate. So it comes with these little machine screws and you have to be really careful not to strip these out. So when I was taking the top plate off, I stripped out three of the screws just with a normal screwdriver. Um, so be really careful when you're taking apart the top plate. Go real slow. Use a lot of uh, pressure so you get a good grip on the screw. So I'm going to put this back together and let's fire it up. So here we go. It's going to go through its uh, check, check run which is a few seconds here and then I've got my six string Fodera plugged in but first before I fire that up is to see if we hear the ocean from these tubes okay so it's about 30 seconds or so Oh yeah. The hiss is normal. That's normal too. That's cranked. Like, holy crap. That would shake, shake the lightsabers off the wall. All right, sweet. So it's fixed. Cool. Let's play a couple notes. Uh, I'm, I'm holding my phone, so I'll tap. Oh look, Star Wars ships. Sweet. All right, so now you know how to change tubes in your DB751. Mine has a lightsaber on it. Oh yeah, check these guys out. One of my base students' uh, cousins runs that company. Anyway, later.